welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you can join my little YouTube family. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook so you can go ahead and keep up with me. Okay, so today I'm gonna be filming an old school video, I would like to call it, because they were popular back in the day, but not so much now. But you know what? I figured why not? I wanna film it. If you wanna watch it, then thank you so much. If you don't, then sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be filming what I've been loving the month of May, and I like I changed a lot of things, kind of. So I might like, why not share with you guys? So let's do it. And it's a bunch of random stuff. I think I'm gonna just jump in like by categories, or I don't know. I have a few things, but not that much. So and they're all random. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my Starbucks dream. So they have these um just sitting by the you know counter and you just tell the barista if you can have a reusable cup and i think they're like five dollars or something so they come with the straw and everything so if you're trying to save turtles out there i think this is pretty perfect you just take it you get 10 cents off every drink and uh let me tell you uh when you order like a vent no when you order like a grande and you give this drink they usually fill it up all the way to the top so that's what happened to me today i ordered a caramel macchiato Grande and they filled it up all the way to the top. So anyways, but my favorite drink at the moment, it has been a caramel macchiato with half pumps of the caramel syrup and a half pump of toffee syrup. It's so delicious. Um, it is kind of, it could get a little sweet sometimes. I don't know, sometimes it's sweeter than other days, but it's really good. I really, really like that toffee flavor. It's kind of like a, it goes, it pairs well with caramel, so I would definitely recommend it. Now, another one of my favorite Starbucks drinks are the matcha lattes, the ice lattes. But I was at Trader Joe's recently, and I ran into this matcha powder. So what I do is I boil a little bit of water, and then I dissolve, because if you just pour it into ice, it won't dissolve. At least not for me, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. So I just dissolve it and then I pour it over ice and it's already sweetened. So you just have to add your milk and it tastes so delicious. I mean, depending on how much you add, I think it depends on the flavor, but I just usually add two spoonfuls and it's delicious. Okay, speaking about Trader Joe's, I also don't know if you guys know, but I do not drink soda, so uh i love love carbonation <laughs> that's just like you know my thing that's like when i used to drink soda that's why i drink it because i used to love the bubbly feeling so i found these at trader joe's they're, they're the seltzer water flavored with blood orange and orange juice organic whatever they're really delicious um they do have a little bit of sugar they have two grams of sugar, adds a little bit more flavor. It's really delicious. Another thing, this should be a Trader Joe's haul. <laughs> Another thing I've been really liking from Trader Joe's is this um, organic cold brew coffee. And it's kind of strong, but it's really good. I just pour it over ice and I add a little bit of milk or uh, half and half, whatever I have in hand. And there goes my iced coffee. It's so good. It's strong because it's it says nitrogen nitrogen infused with organic espresso so if you like coffee i recommend okay so i guess i should just finish with the foods so another thing i've been really really liking is this garadel um chocolates the dark chocolate raspberry i only like dark chocolate i cannot with other i can't do milk chocolate so i really really like this i i really like this brand i the other one the other one I really enjoy is the sea, dark chocolate sea salt caramel or something like that. But this one right now, this raspberry is really doing it for me. And the last food item I have is this... Oh my god. I should have gotten a new bag. This mango spice... What is it called? Chili spice mango from also Trader Joe's. It's so good. It's not too sweet and it's not too chilly. It's, really, it's a really good balance. I've been really enjoying this when I'm craving a little salt. A little sweet but salty, you know what I'm saying? It's a really good balance. Okay, so that was it for foods. I mean, Trader Joe's is the way to go. I could show you guys like all my favorite snacks. Most of them are from Trader Joe's, but 
that's what I've been loving this month, mostly drinks, but whatever, okay. So moving on, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I've been using for my hair right now is straightened, but I've been really trying not to straighten it. But when I do straighten it, I've been really, really liking uh, my um, InStyler. It's so good, like I just do it once and it's like this, it straightens really nicely and it gives you a little bit of bounce, like it won't leave your hair so um, flat. So yeah, I got this on sale on their website a few, it's been a while, but they always have sales. So I'll put it down in the description and if I can find a coupon, I'll link it. If you're looking for a little bit of volume, but you want your hair to be straight, I would recommend that because sometimes when you use a straightener, it just like pin straight, you know? Okay, so the days that I do not straighten my hair, which I've been trying not to so bad, I've been using this Redken uh, shampoo. I have the shampoo and conditioner. I got these at Ulta. They were buy two, get one free. So I think these are $40 each. I think, don't quote me. I will link everything down below. And then I ended up getting this one. This is the um, Redken Curvaceous Conditioner. And this is a leave-in or rinse conditioner. So yeah, these two are the Beach Envy Volume. So with a combination of these three, once my hair dries, it just goes to the perfect curl for me at least. And when I'm going to work and I don't, like my hair tends to be a little bit puffy, I just go ahead and add this Diva Curl. And I also got this at um, Ulta. So this is the Stronghold No Crunch Styler Define and Control. Okay guys, so that's what I've really been liking to keep my hair curly. Now for the days where I'm like, let me uh, recover from straightening. I've been using this um, Raw Sugar Healing Power Hair Mask. And I got this at Target. I've been really liking it. It has avocado, banana oil, coconut milk, and agave. And I just like let it sit in my hair for like 15 minutes. It's like almost empty. And it's really good. Um, I do see a difference um, with softness. Obviously, I mean, it has a lot of oil, so your hair will be soft. So yeah, I have other like higher end um, hair masks, but I feel like this like 599 one does a really good job. So let's move on to this random thing. So I've been doing gel, my nails. I've been doing my own nails for the past few weeks. I mean, I need to redo, but um, I've been doing gel nails and um, while well, I was looking up on how to keep them alive and keep them on my fingers because at first they were peeling off really quickly and I think it's because I'm like so active with my hands and I wash dishes and everything but uh, they recommended to use these so I soak these with um, acetone and then I put them on my fingers and they come with some clips, but I couldn't find them. I'll I'll insert a picture, but um, I these were fairly inexpensive, and I think it's like a thousand little pads. And I really like it because when you take off your nail polish, it doesn't leave little, uh, it doesn't leave residue of like like the cotton balls do. So I really like that. Another thing that I guess is kind of random is this uh, Ever Spring all-purpose cleaner when I was at Target I was really looking for something that's safe for my pup to um, you know be able to inhale while I'm mopping because I mop like twice a day now just because he's like very he's a very free dog he can walk wherever he wants like outside we have a lot of um, grass but there's a little part and there's a little bit of dirt so he attracts dirt well anyways point is um I found this at Target and I've been really enjoying the scent, it's called uh, Lavender and ber Bergamot. Bergamot. And I really like it because it doesn't leave your floor sticky. I have I was using the Method um, brand for a while and it was leaving uh, the floor, like the residue on the floor. When my dog, when my pup would walk, it would leave his footprints. Just like, it was like a very thin residue -y, I don't know, something. So I switched over and I was, I read up on it and it's safe for my pup to like, smell it in case you know he's around when I'm mopping which usually he's not but yeah so if you guys like like essential oil smells um this is very essential oily um, lavender is safe for dogs so that's why I stick to the lavender but there is other scents and they smell really good I smell them all at Target I kind of sprayed a little bit 
but yeah they smell really really nice okay I'm almost done guys so I guess I'll do two more random things and then I'll skip to cosmetic so I've been really into taking notes and journaling and just writing everything because I feel like when I'm at work my mind is like racing 100 miles per hour and I come up with a lot of ideas and stuff and like I have to thank my boo for putting me on writing everything down because before I'm really like I'll be like I remember like I remember I remember so anyways I went on Amazon and I searched on note I searched up notebooks and I came across these right here they say like you know little quotes and stuff I got a few of them and the reason why is because they're only two dollars and I think they're the perfect size uh, you know to put in your purse if you have anything to say to write down while you're on the go I think um, these are pretty nice and another thing I got on Amazon that I've been obsessed I've always used it but I kind of stopped using it for a while is this sweet sweat um, workout enhancer so what this is is you um, put it on your body let me take it out so what you do is uh, you open it obviously and then um, you like rub it all over your body usually where I put it is on my stomach and on my lower like back kind of like the longha part of your body you know what I'm saying so I put this all over and the scent is a little obnoxious I'm not the biggest fan of it but you know what it helps me I don't know what it is but it helps so anyways I put it all on and then I put this the waist trimmer and um once I take it off like I'm dripping literally dripping sweat or I don't know this is like a miracle worker so like i said i got these on amazon both of them you know when you uh search up this like it recommends this and i've always used this one i've always used the sweet sweat they have a coconut scent i haven't tried that one i think it's like ten dollars more expensive so i'm like no thank you and they have one that comes in a tub too that's the one i used to use but it was just so messy like you have to dig your fingers in and then rub it and then it's kind of oily a little so I didn't really like that so okay guys and my last uh, category is cosmetics and my face stuff so I got this cream in one of my subscription boxes I think it was boxycharm it's the it cosmetics confidence in a cream and I've been using this every day on my face a little bit goes a long way and I've been putting it before my primer and it's been hydrating my skin I think I mentioned that I've been a little dry these past few weeks. I don't know why, like my face has been really dry. I've been really seeing some dry patches, so I've been having to moisturize extra. Even at night, I have to like lather my skin so I don't wake up so dry. And yes, I'm aware I should be drinking more water, but ugh. Anyways, and in combination with that, I've been using this um, Dr. Brandt Pour No More Luminizing Primer and it's been really really working for me these two things for my these two things for my dry skin perfect and for foundation i've been really liking this Burt's Bees Goddess Glow just because like i got it because it said glow and my skin has been dry and i got it in soft honey it's it's on medium coverage but it does build up so yeah that's what i'm wearing today and last but not least, this lip combo has been my thing. It's what I'm wearing right now. Um, this is MAC Velvet Teddy NYX Butter Gloss in the color Madeleine. So, yeah. that's Okay, guys. And my favorite thing this month has been my little poodle. His name is Sir Biggie Smalls. He is five months. And yeah, he just got a haircut. Yeah, this is him. Um, I got him. Well, we got him a few months, like two months ago, I think. All right? When did we get you, bud? Yeah, he's so cute. Oh, I love him so much. He's so attached. As you guys could see, look at his eyes. Show them your eyes, baby boy. He has an Instagram, it's Sir Biggie Smalls. I'll link it down below so you guys can follow his adventures. He's so travieso, like, he's a puppy, so. I post everything on there, and yeah. Say bye, Biggie. Bye, guys. Love you so much. Yeah, that's what I've been really liking this month. 
Um, I know this video is a little random just because they're not so popular anymore, but you know what? I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things I've been loving and yeah i hope you guys enjoy my video let me know if you guys like these type of videos because i'm always trying new things and why not share it with you guys so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram facebook and snapchat don't forget don't forget to subscribe share the video if you like and i'll see you guys in my next video bye